fall to Kilmarnock. I'm not saying he exactly went to sleep midway through the, the first half, but uh, Dundee certainly looked as if they were beginning to overpower them without threatening the goalkeeper in any great way. A lot of the ball. If you get a lot of the ball, something might happen for you, as it did. So it's pretty evenly balanced now. Takes fire. A lot of swing out there. Robertson. Robertson switched away across to that side and oof. Well, he, I think they were told to stick in and maybe take him too literally there. That's a, a free kick. Came out of absolutely nothing there. There's a push. I think the free kick should be given there, but they still kept the two of them getting right into it. It's by ah, that's not a bad effort. And that was always going to be difficult for the goalkeeper with the sun screaming right into his eyes up. He went for it. No touch, in fact. Great effort. Gets by a really powers in the ball from these situations. Ball hovering Robertson. But Robertson read that quite well all the same. Play hasn't stopped. Here's Ray. Wanted that down back. Gets by with a shot. It's a great goal. Now he's been threatening to do that the entire game. He's jockeyed for position several times and he's been well enough defended. And this time he did get his freedom. You can see he's done this several times in the game. And then the angle, absolute perfection. And the D, I think now deservedly, a 2-1 up. Outside of foot pass initially, great deal to do yet here. Well, he's done that before on both sides of the border, of course. And the Georgian showing a touch of class. Murray. Now he. Still finding it very difficult to get any useful possession in midfield. Mitchell, Andy McLaren. And it goes to Mahoud for the shot. Great save. Murray still with it. And Murray might come back in again. No, just touched away by Robertson. Now we've seen and complimented and praised this Argentinian goalkeeper before. And it was another example of it. Very, very quick across his goal. Good eye. Solid clearance. Yes, I think... Um, understandably looking a little bit concerned at this stage too early for him of course to be over dramatizing it but here's the breakaway dargo was superbly saved now that's all that dargo could do because nobody had kept pace with him he did the, get the break and he had to fire it in from a difficult angle Sparoni dealt capably with it but you could see there was nobody following up at all such was the suddenness of the break Go. Really playing out of his skin at the moment. That was a good ball just cut off by Del Rio. Well, Dago becoming an increasing threat. Bad ball put out there. Here's Murray on the run. Kamanaka flooding the box. Yes! The equalizer by Andy McLaren. Beautifully taken by one of the most experienced players in the team now that is not and never has been an easy sort of chance for anybody break by Murray the ball going right across his body he's at right angles to the ball uh, and to the goal and drilled in with great certainty no chance for an excellent goalkeeper that Kelly on equal terms and I did say that if they kept it up they had uh, gathered their spirit again. Maybe the presence of the new manager in the touchline did something to them. There's Fangi. Took it well. Lovely little ball across, and that's good attacking. Corner kick. Oh, 
I make it within the last minute and a half. Tight ball to the near post, Marshall. Ray. And there's Ranji. There were too many players going after it, in fact. And perhaps if he had kept out of it, one of the strikers might have done better. That was a troublesome ball from Kent's fire. Marshall just getting the touch, but ineffectually, Ray did very well, and here is where Robertson and uh, Fanji messed it up between them. Here's the breakaway. There's a lovely ball across Fanji coming in. Great defending by the Chinese international. Break by Dundee now. Well, that was solid, but the play is going on all the same. Andy McLaren, now Murray, can they win the game in the last seconds of the game? There's the header and he's done it! Andy McLaren again, his second of the game. Tremendous finish to this match and the Dundee players look absolutely stunned. A game which at one stage they were well in command of has been turned round by the substitution. Andy McLaren comes on. The second goal, a beautiful header, under pressure, I may say. That was almost a 50-50 ball, and there's hardly any time remaining in this game, and that's a beautiful sight for any player, and especially for a manager in his baptism with his new club. Well, it was looking difficult for Jim Jeffries at one stage, well, by difficult, I'm sure he wanted a good start here. I mean, even a defeat at the start of a career isn't all that bad in the first game, but the folks are welcome on it for them. And it's the final whistle. They've done it. Great start. He was delighted with that, and he can thank that man specially, Andy McLaren, who's driven them back into the game. At one stage, I thought it was well beyond them, and they came back. Opening goal by Craig Dargo, a delight. You could see he didn't have much of a target to hit, but he hit it. And then that dreadful mistake by Gordon Marshall, allowing the ball to be chipped across there by Caballero to Sara. Then a magnificent goal by Ketz Bayer. Tremendous performance by the Georgian. Then Andy McLaren coming on as a substitute with that wonderful wood left foot shot, difficult chance. And then at the end, Courage, determination, getting in there first. 3-2, great entertainment. As that final score, as I said, come out of three. The D2.